Yeah, sure. Okay. I'll just discuss the board at this point. So. Yep. Cool. So, yeah. Uh, first things, like, looking at this board that crossed my eyes, there's get two one-ups. Uh, very doable in city. Obviously, it takes a bit of time. I also see getting one blue and red heart. Uh, again, pretty... You can do it in city. You probably want to do 2B if you're rushing for that. There's also get blue and red heart in city. So, like, you know, synergy right there. Uh, quite possible. Um, there's actually quite a lot of early objectives. There's Forsaken City cassettes, Blue and Red Heart in Forsaken City, one Blue and Red Heart, two cassettes. Uh, so let's see if someone goes for the 1A, 1B play. Uh, that would be very interesting. Um, yeah, so they're obviously off now. Uh, <laughs> yeah, let's hope nothing crashes of us set up. There's also four wind and eight wind berries. So I don't know how many eight is. That's definitely into summit you have to go. You can technically do grabless, uh, dashless city, uh, but that's obviously going to be tough. I uh, wouldn't really want to do that. Um, other early objectives are the read the poem in 2A. Pretty straightforward to do. Um, only about 20 second objective to go your way for. But obviously with it looking oh there's also four binoculars and b-sides so i and complete two b-sides wow okay so i suspect what's going to happen is both players are probably going to go for the 1a 1b play um there's going to be a race you could possibly if you wanted not to have to race so for example if flare or odd bodies worried the other player is going to be better at those you may want to actually just rush for the city cassette then do 2A and get like a couple of objectives there, which will save a bunch of progress. But anyway, so off, we're about to see it. Uh, I don't think either player will go for the content play of getting two one-ups straight away. That would be, that would be quite insane. Uh, but you, you never know, you never know. Like this, this is, I think it was almost called content bingo. So we, we could see it. Oh. Oddbot? Oh no, okay, so Oddbot isn't and Flare Bear isn't. Okay, so they're making the probably correct play of ignoring that for now, maybe getting in 2A or doing it later. Um, getting the Wind Berries, very smart from Oddbot. Flare doesn't get it, so that's not a huge time loss, but kind of unfortunate. Um, so seven Wind Berries lean up to seven Fiends on it. So yeah, so yeah, we'll probably see them getting it in uh, 1500 meters. Okay, so Oddbod didn't go for the heart, so I, I think this is okay. Uh, you can always go back and get the heart, but it does obviously cost time. Um, but we'll see if he goes for the cassette as well. Is he just going to rush for 2A? Nope, looks like he's getting the cassette. Makes a very smart play. Um, no reason not to. Especially Flair, unfortunately, execution-wise, hasn't uh, had the best... Oh yeah, there is actually significant Everest lag from Flair. That's really unfortunate. Okay, yeah, so Oddbod's doing the 1A, 1B play. Um, I, I like this, especially since you got the cassette first. Um, you know you're ahead. And this is not a unsafe play to make. Flair? Hmm. Uh, I'm hoping Flair returns the map and doesn't do 1B. 1B? Okay, yes, that, that's really smart. He knows that Oddbod's going to probably get it. Oh, go for the wind berries. No, I guess he can go back. But yeah, um, but yeah, definitely, it's pretty smart not to play one B, knowing that Oddbod got the cassette first. But you're, there's two cassettes, so Flare Bear can definitely get that. Uh, assuming Oddbod, oh, nice spike jump, Flare. Good save. Good save. Uh, let's watch Oddbod's mm, good spike jump. Yep. Okay. Yeah, so Oddbot's going to definitely take an early lead in terms of objectives, but Flair now has the progress lead and can do stuff like get re Promo in Awake and get in the two cassettes there. So it's not as bad for him as uh, you may think. Oddbot, has he been getting binoculars? Because there is four binoculars in B-sides. That would be probably something you'd want to be doing, especially since two here means it makes it a bit easy in future chapters. But I don't think he got the one beforehand, so... Yeah, what is a good chapter to assist Skip in this? Uh, my default is free, just because that's usually the one, but there is actually quite a few objectives I can see there. So there's a uh, Pico Raid objective, B side objective, um, the elevator shaft berries. Uh, 
Yeah, and grab less presidential suite. So there are four objectives, but still, like, saving five minutes is probably a pretty big play. The other downside is you skip uh, wind berries. So we'll see. Maybe Flair would want to go for that. Um, yeah. Did anyone? I actually missed Oddbot. Did he get the binocular? Because if he didn't, I'm going <laughs> to... <laughs> I'm gonna be pepper him very hard. Okay, he got the binoculars. Okay, good, good old, yeah, gotta rely on Oddbod, you know, getting them. Okay, so Oddbod's going back, getting the red heart, uh, makes a lot of sense. You, well, I guess I don't know. Yeah, no, he was rushing for the cassettes, so that makes sense. And now he sees Flair take off the two cassettes, so he knows he's in two A. Um, there's nothing else you can get to at this point that allows you to get two cassettes, so. He, he's, I think both players, like, Flair may be slightly disappointed he didn't get to the cassette first, but he's, you know, got a decent progress lead, um, and yeah. Alright, so Oddbod ticks off his synergy. Uh, what is he doing now? Finishing 1A. Oh, getting the Windberry, of course. Yeah, that makes a lot of sense. Okay, is he just going to quit out here? Yeah, makes sense. No re need to finish uh, 1A at this point. You can always go back and finish it. Okay, so Oddbod skips into 3. Um... That's probably the smartest play you can make at this point. Obviously, gets him a progress uh, for now um, and allows him to get some objectives. One thing I don't like this hugely is um, that basically, like, all the objectives are kind of slow. Like, you have to play at least a minute of 3A or probably close to two minutes before you can even get to start an objective. So, <laughs> yeah, Oddbot is... Uh... <laughs> This is recorded. This, Oddbot is not, you know, checking out chat. Oh yeah, you know, this kind of stuff, so... Yeah. Um, although, and especially since Flair has not gone for Windberries at all, like, that's not too bad objective. He should have, but, you know. Okay, this is... Please check out... Uh, hey, who's done movement? Oh, does he know where... He, he doesn't know where it is, does he? Oh no, Flair. Flair. Okay, cool, he found it. He found it. <laughs> Oh no, Flair, please. <laughs> yeah, so highly recommend you practice your movement for bingo. Uh, for these weird objectives you never go to usually, so you don't lose 10 seconds. Okay, so we still throw him in a way. Um, he should not quit out here. He should 100% go, yep, cool. I think he already locked the away checkpoint actually, so it's not too bad for still. Um, Okay, so Oddbod's entering huge mess. Uh, it'd be interesting to see if he goes for the peak away. I don't think he will. I think he... Yeah, well, Flair ticked off the 2A poem, so now knows where Oddbot is. Um, yeah. Anyway. Oh, he got the heart. Interesting. Why did he get the blue heart there? That's... I, was he trying to... Hmm, that's a weird play. I, I wouldn't have picked him as getting the heart there. That seems very strange to me. Um, okay, so Flair is playing 3A. Um, like, it's really hard to know because like he has no idea where Oddbot is. So if Oddbot is playing 2A, this is pretty decent. You know, you get to hold on to your skip. You get to um, continue. Like, you get some objectives here. However... Oddbod is about, you know, two minutes ahead of you in this chapter. Uh, you're going to have a bad time picking up literally anything. So that's really unfortunate. Um, we'll see if Oddbod ticks off any of the Windberry objective. That should tell Flair where he is. Or if he ticks off some of the other ones, like, well, yeah, it's going to be rough. Going to be rough, basically. Oddbod's also going for this heart. Am I missing something? Why, why do you want this heart? Heart. Oh, he's just doing the death warp. I see. Is this even quicker? I don't. I. I, I don't get this play. I must be missing something. Um. Oh yeah. So Oddbot ticks it off. Be interesting to see if Flair quits out now that Oddbot's ticked off the four wind berries. Because at this point he knows Oddbot's in three A and like there's not many um, objectives. Like, you, you're probably going to get locked out unless you go for, like, Pika Raid or something like that that you think Oddbod isn't going for. Yeah, it's not the biggest deal because, like, obviously you save some time by able to death walk, but yes, it is a bit strange. Uh, obviously preparing for your core. Oh, I just saw there's six binoculars and B-sides. That's that's pretty epic. Um, see how that goes. 
Oh yeah, so Flair's just playing free A. Yeah, at this point, it, it's really rough for Flair, because, like, you could spend your assist skip going over. I guess, like, maybe it doesn't actually look like Chapter 4 has any objectives. So, like, just skipping that is actually not too bad. Like, the only objectives you really get are Wind Berries and Seeded Berries. And, I guess, 4B, so... Yeah, I wanted to make sure you had the hearts for core for sure. Okay, so he gets it. Ogbo gets a cassette. Makes a lot of sense. You already have to go this way, and it means you can do freebie. Hopefully, you never have to do that curse chapter. Um, hot and cold berries. There are objectives in core. Let's go. So we'll see if this Oddbod 200 IQ heart play ends up working out for him. But I don't think it will. <laughs> I think it's going to end up not being that super relevant. Okay. So, Obod isn't doing grabless. Oh, that's a sick demo he just did there. Yeah, so he's not doing grabless. Oh. Oh, wait, no. Presidential Suites, this one. Oh, my bad. Yeah. Yeah, so this one's actually not too bad grabless. What is Obod doing? What the heck? Oh, I guess he was taking off stuff. Okay, makes sense. Weird. <laughs> <laughs> that was the weirdest tentative movement ever, so... Okay. Meanwhile, Flair's still in huge mess. He's finished him up now, but he... Like, Oddbod should, if he doesn't derp around too much in this... Why is he getting the berry? Is that, a, is that an objective? <laughs> I guess there's 10 berries in 3 and 35 berries, but like... That berry, really? That berry's kind of tough. Like, you, you wasted so much. Anyway, whatever. Not gonna comment too much. Um, yeah, so Flair's unfortunately probably gonna arrive at the end of Chapter 3, having got a grand total of zero objectives from five minutes of gameplay. Um, which kind of sucks. This is why, like, you know, it's a pretty risky play, but yeah. Um, but fortunately, he still has his assistive, but so does Oddbod. So, oh wait, no, Oddbod doesn't. So Flair can hopefully skip through Chapter 4. Make it to chapter five where there is also very little objectives. Wow, there's actually I guess there's stun seekers. Wow, okay, yeah. I man, this is so rough. Oh no, Flair, don't don't do it. I'd buy a ticket off quickly, please. Uh yeah, it loses only two seconds, but it's hard to do in my opinion that way at least. So it's like, I guess if you're confident it's okay to do, but it feels like, you know, a weird one to do. Okay. Well, Oddbot's ticked it off, fortunately put Flair out of his misery uh, pretty quickly. Uh, but, you know, at this point, Oddbot, like, it doesn't really make sense to skip Chapter 4, like, Neither Chapter 4 or Chapter 5 really have many objectives going for them. Um, like, there's obviously Wind Berries and Seeded Berries, which we, you need to do both of them. But, it, like, that's only one objective, and you'd rather just skip both of them and go into the B-sides, honestly. Uh, which Oddbot obviously has a big lead in, so... <laughs> just cheering for... I cheered for Flare Bear or something. Okay, um... Yeah, so Flair's gonna finish this up. Meanwhile, Oddbod, like, doing the smart play. He can't skip this chapter, and it also has Wind and Seated. Very, very nice movement. Uh, execution's on point. Oh, nice cycle skip in there. Oh, I guess, yeah, full cycle skip. Um, okay, so... Flair has finished it. Nice, nice work, Flair. Uh, yeah, I wonder what Flair's gonna go for now. Is he just gonna continue playing 4A? He's gonna skip over 4A? Is he gonna go back? Because there are some objectives, like the two one-ups. Um... What's, what's Flair looking at? What, what is Flair doing? Yeah, that is a hard berry. <laughs> I, is there full clear 4A? Because usually you'll go for that, so you can avoid having to go back a huge amount. What is Flair doing? Is he... Is he getting the cassette tape, I guess? Are you, no, don't play freebie. Don't play freebie. Why Why are you going for this cassette tape? Flare Bear. So freebie is particularly bad on this board because A, you're not going to get any progress. B, 
B, there's no bioinoculars, and C, like, you have to go out of your way to even get it. So, like, the only thing that's really contributing is two B-sides, but, like, there's no... There isn't, like, any cassette objectives left, so it doesn't make sense to get this cassette, except if you're going for freebies. So, I'm not... I really... Okay, whatever. We'll see, we'll see. Uh, meanwhile, Oddbod picks up the fifth Windberry. Uh, nice work. Okay, so he's not doing freebie. He just wanted that cassette for, you know, collection. Make sure he can pick it up at some point. Yeah. It is contributing content. Yes, that's, that's fair. Oh, oh no. 1B versus... I assume Oddbod's going for the 1-up, which is pretty epic. Um, I, is it faster to do the 1-up here, or is it faster to do it in 2A? I wonder. I know... Oh, <laughs> nice, Odd, nice, Oddbod. Nice. <laughs> uh, good stuff, good stuff. 1A is probably faster, way faster. Okay, fair enough. Yeah, I guess 2A, in my opinion, is way easier to get, like, 3 or 2, like, a lot of 1-ups, because you just, like, there's a lot that are easy to get. Whereas this one, you have to go for this one, which I hate. Like, this this berry, getting out of this room without losing a berry is, like, one of the hardest in the world. And Oddbud does it, obviously being the bingo god himself, or bingo master, so... Yeah, you gotta do the whole mirror thing. That's that's pretty true. By the point you're in this level, you have six berries. You're probably just getting your first couple berries in 2A. So yeah, no, that makes a lot of sense. Anyway, so Oddbod's gonna get a two one-ups here. That's his seventh berry. There's two one-ups. Meanwhile, Flair's trying to set up a pixel. Gets it. Let's go, Flair. Um, not sure why Oddbod's continuing to do this level. Uh, is there... I guess he's going to get more berries trying to go for the 10 in 3, 35 berry objectives. Um, which, you know, is fair, fair choice. Uh, but... Like, at this point, Oddbod's in quite a big lead. Like, he's got progress in B-sides, um, that Flair's just catching up to. Uh, he has more progress in the... Well, I guess Flair probably has the progress in terms of A-sides, because he has a assist skip left. Um... And Oddbod has, like, six more objectives. So, definitely Oddbod's game to lose. However, there are probably choices or execution mistakes you can make. Or Oddbod, the smart play probably. Completing this B-side means he gets four of, uh, binoculars, getting the two last binocular objectives, and also the complete two B-sides. So, pretty smart play from Oddbod. I like it. Um, you also can't skip over 4A, so this is probably the best thing you can do with your time. Um, yeah. Okay, so now we watch Flare Bear finish up this chapter. It has been getting the binos, so theoretically Flare could go for 2A and get the two B-sides before Oddbod. Oh, I think he has that um, cassette tape, but yeah, still, yeah, he definitely does have that cassette tape. So he could get the two, finish two B-sides before uh, Oddbod does. But obviously, he's not going to get the four binos unless Oddbod hides that information. So that that could be a play, actually, is you go for 2B, try and get the four binos, and hope Oddbod just hides the information. But we'll see what happens. Um, on, well, we wanted content, and we're going to get some content. So let's go. So I think we saw this in the last match, but we didn't see too bad. Uh, Basically, Freebie is well known for runners having a tough time doing it. So this room in particular, very easy to die a lot. And people often know entry cycles as Flare Bear does, but not death cycles. Oh, let's go Flare. Oh, let's go. Second try. This level is trash. This level is indeed trash. Oh, I'm very nice. Yeah, so... Like, I really wish Flair went for 2B, um, but I guess this isn't too bad. I guess you get two uh, objectives anyway, but yeah, pretty rough regardless. Um, Oddbod gets the fourth Bayono, and he doesn't tick it off. So, oh no, he just did. Okay, fair enough. Um, yeah, I, I like ticking it off. Like, I think at this point, you just want to make sure you don't lose objectives through, like, trying to be too smart for your own good. Uh, yeah, so Oddbod, upon finishing this, assume he's going to definitely get the 6 minor objective. Um, 
and then it's up to how Flair's execution goes if he also gets the two B-sides. They both have one apiece at the moment, both have one A. So, theoretically, Oddbod should get it. He's, like, got probably 50 seconds left, whereas Flair probably has, like, a minute. Um, but you never know. Execution's hard, you know. Yeah, easy first room Flair. <laughs> I'll take this over free A, yeah. It's unfortunate they have to play 90% of free A to actually get to this, which, you know, kind of ruins it as a, yay, let's do this instead of the free A. Yeah, so Oddbot's in the uh, second last screen. He's going to get the two B-sides and also the six binos, uh, which will set up with 12 objectives, and then the world's his oyster. So it's going to be interesting to see if he decides to go for a content play or just close this match out. Um... We'll see. So he quits out, uh, probably about to tick off those two objectives. Yep, there's one. There's the second. All right, so what's he going to do? He's going for... We do both. <laughs> Can't play Angel. I was going to say, yeah. yeah Celebrity commentary coming in. Ah, oh, yes. Oh, man. I'm going to give, while you're I'm gonna give you all a lesson in pick raid right now. How's that sound? Okay, let's go. So yes. all you aspiring bingo players, this is how you play pick raid, baby. Let's go. I'm excited. Look at these strategies. All right, the quick guide. It's the first one was you can't grab, of course. Uh, you can't hyper dash, but when you dash off the ground, you also lose your dash, which kind of sucks. Uh, for berries, doesn't matter here, but if you dash into a wall that has a berry, if you dash from it far away, you should get your dash back. If you do it like instantly into the wall, you don't get your dash back. You can do like underside wall jumps like that. Uh, just do what I do here in this room, it's pretty easy. Uh, this room you should actually learn, just up dash like that and you spike clip pretty easy. And that actually makes that room so much easier. Uh, oh. This room you should probably learn something else because this strat is actually kinda hard and I fucked it up. <laughs> <laughs> Which sucks. Next room actually has Anji, like these things spawn in a cycle, these balloons. I got good Anji here so I got the fast strat, but you shouldn't matter about that. I shouldn't worry about that. But yeah, I actually got good Anji there. At this room, learn this room. I tell everybody, learn this fucking room. Don't get the fucking balloon on oh, the top yeah. left. Just learn the room. You can skip that balloon. Also learn this room. You can instantly go up left like that. Free. Uh, this one is also easy. If you want the berry up here, uh, just jump to your left, by the way. Don't dash. If you just jump to your left, it always sets you up perfectly. Uh, this room you probably want to learn. It's not that hard. Like, jump off these two pillars. Um, don't do this. This is hard. This is my clip right there. <laughs> Also, don't do this is also hard and I fuck it up, I think. Yeah, I do. But you can do like a spike thingy, like watch them off the spike and then do another one. This one you should learn. You can just up dash in here. You don't have to do the right side at all. On that screen, just up dash instead of transition. Easy. And then right here, just jump to your left, up right, jump off the spikes. Easy. There's actually nice. 10 ways to do that last screen, but that one is the one I find easiest, but there's like multiple ones. And GG. GG! <laughs> Insane on. Uh, Flavor got 3B in the middle of that. Uh, however, that's just GG. So, yeah. GG. Uh, that was actually pretty good. What was your. Oh, yeah, I don't think you get to see the time uh, for yeah, Adrenal, but that looked pretty good. So. Oh. Yeah, that wasn't too bad. Oh. Flair's, Flair's going to show off how you also do Pico 8. Let's go, Flair. <laughs> Yeah, so unfortunately, like, that just came down to Oddbod snowballing a progress, or not really a progress lead, just, like, I think a bit smarter routing. Uh, Flair kind of committed to doing 3A and got basically zero objectives from there, um, whereas Oddbod obviously got all the objectives and then got a bunch more with the B side, so kind of unfortunate. Uh, hopefully we'll get to see closer matches as... Uh, what what seedings was this? Was this one verse three? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah, no, that was pretty sad as well, so. That's also the games like these days, so Yeah. Yeah, no, that's that's pretty unfortunate. Oh, are oh. you muted? Yeah, I muted myself. Oh, okay. Well I'll just retail that that like 
uh, Flair horrible ever like what I was talking about and most importantly I was telling Flair about like I was watching the bot very briefly just like checking through it just to see what works and I saw like he had a horrible Everest lag. So I like DM Flair, I'm like, dude, you had you had really bad lag. And he's like, oh, what are you talking about? Like, I don't, I don't know what that means. <laughs> like, he, he had no idea. <laughs> but he does like, he does like so much time just to lag, so. And he, I also said that he hadn't played the game for like two months prior to this, so. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I, could, I assume people in chat heard of the Oddbot's explanation on how to do PQ8, right? Yeah, I was, I, I wasn't muted for that, I don't think so. Okay, I, was, cool. I was there for that. Good, good, good. Just making sure, just making sure. Right. Cool, Shots. well, GG. Uh, congrats, Oddbod, for picking up your first win in the group. Um, thank you, thank you. And thank Flare Bear, you. there's more matches. There's five more, four more matches to go, so definitely chance to get a couple of Ws there. Shouts uh, to yeah. look for commentating for the record. Thank no you very worries. much. It's a short uh, match. Wait, why is the why is the twelfth point uh, the thirteenth point not picked off? By the way, it's kind of weird. Uh, but... Probably stopped the the program stopped before it saw. I uh, ticked know. it off, but it wait does, didn't it? I think it ticked it off, but it doesn't show t it doesn't show the right score line. Yeah, I think it probably like updates later and it stopped. I don't know whatever. I don't know what I, it doesn't matter too much anyway. Yeah. Point is, thanks for commenting. Thank you guys for watching. I think we we'll wrap this up uh, really quick. Of course. If you are interested in playing Pinko yourself, you should join the Discord, Pinko Court. Uh, this was, I think, the third match total. Here are the group standings. Not looking too impressive yet because it's only the second day of games, but...